We're going to do a video on Carvana stock, Carvana stock analysis, and we've got a chart of Carvana CVNA as a stock symbol here. It's a daily chart with a 200-day moving average on it. We're going to show you an hourly, a daily, and a weekly chart here in a minute, and then we'll check on some algorithmically generated entry prices and see if we cover it. But you can see that Carvana is in serious trouble. It came down here and put in the bottoms across this uh, little distance here in June and into July, rallied up towards the 200-day moving average, but then it just collapsed. And so it's hard to see here, but this... Carvana has been selling off just in a very slow, like a just, just like a death spiral, and it came in here and put down a new low. Looks like right here, November eighth, uh, last week, six dollars fifty cents. Rallied up a little bit towards the twenty-day moving average, and then has fallen off again this week, uh, all the way down to seven dollars sixty-one cents. Now, everything's not horrible with Carvana. It, it seems like it, but at the end of the day, it put in a new low and didn't make a new low this week. So that's good news. It's one of the few weeks that it hasn't put in a new low. So still below its 20-day moving average, below the five-day moving average. The trend in this stock is still, to say the least, uh, negative. It's a bear market stock. There's just no getting around that. But uh, you'll notice that its rate of decline, comp this compared to this, is dramatically different. So its rate of decline is, is much, much better than it was. From a percentage perspective, it may not be, but certainly from an absolute dollar amount, uh, it's much, much better. So let's take a look at this weekly chart. I'm not trying to be positive. I'm just trying to call it the way I see it. From a weekly perspective, obviously the stock's a disaster. This is a 20-week moving average. This is a 200-week moving average. Uh, the five, it's very closely hugging the five-week moving average. If you look here, if I can expand it, uh, it's very, very closely hugging its five-week moving average, which is kind of strange. It looks like they're using it and just selling off of it. Um, it did close uh, below the five week and below the 20 week. So obviously we're still in a serious bear market, but it didn't make a new low this week again. And that's a, a slight, tiny little positive. That's the first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, almost two months. And it didn't make a new low. It's made a new low every week for almost the last, uh, uh eight weeks. So that's a slight little positive here. Again, from, from, a, from a price perspective, it's just a disaster, but, uh, it's not making a new low this week, so that's a positive. Let's go to the hourly real quick. We can see if we can fix this, that the hourly is still below the 200-hour moving average since all the way back here in September of 2022. This is one of the worst uh, hourly declines I've seen in terms of being below the 200-hour moving average. It's just, again, just a serious bear market stock. Even on an intraday basis, this stock is being sold every time it rallies, which is really surprising. You just don't see that for this length of period of time that often. Um, so the positives, again, it's it's put in its low and it didn't it didn't sell off towards the end of the week. So closed, I wouldn't say on a positive note, if it had closed up here, it would have been a positive note, but at least it wasn't even, you know, it wasn't uh, much worse than it could have been. So my analysis analysis for this stock, it wouldn't surprise me at all if this stock rallied up to $10.25. Uh, it's closed here down um, about in the sevens. This stock next week or next week, uh, this coming week or the week following after Thanksgiving, this stock could rally to $10.25. And that's a huge, huge percentage rally for this stock, over 20%, maybe 25%. So I'm not predicting anything all for entertainment purposes, only all my opinion. But I could see this stock easily rallying up to the $10 level um, if, uh, you know, if it doesn't make new lows. If it continues and it goes down a little bit and tries to test these lows, it's probably going to go even lower. But the way it is right now, it's, it's trying to get itself into a trading range similar to what it did here. So you could reasonably look at this and say, hey, maybe this might rally. If we got to close above the 20-day, let's expand this a little bit. We're looking at an hourly chart here. But if we got if we got a close uh, above this 20-hour, which you're almost certainly going to get, you might get a little rally in this. So from a, from a distance perspective, it's only a couple bucks, but it's 20% in the price of the stock. I'm not predicting that, but I'm just saying it could happen. So uh, let's take a look real quick and see what RBAM Research says about this stock. We cover 190 stocks, and uh, let's see if Carvana is one of them. We do not cover Carvana, but we do cover 190 stocks every day before uh, Monday through Friday before 7 a.m. And you can get access to all of those algorithmically generated entry prices. We put out one, five, and 20-day algorithmically generated prices. We also put out some trend-following stocks for the major uh, stocks that we cover. And in addition to that, we put out the most liquid futures contracts and all of the currency contracts, the major pairs, I should say, um, every morning before 7 a.m. You can get access to all that. Absolutely free, 14-day free trial with no credit card required. There's a link in the description below to rbamresearch.com. 
www.ebaycoaching.com. Come by and take a look at all of it before 7 a.m. It's open 24 hours a day. Obviously, it's a website, but we update them before 7 a.m. Monday through Friday for everything we cover. And it's all right here. You get free access uh, for entertainment purposes only. All of the entry prices in my commentary is for entertainment purposes only. Can't use it for anything other than entertainment. You should always trade at your own risk, and you definitely uh, do trade at your own risk, and you should always trade with your own analysis. If you like these videos, there's a link in the description below, a separate link so you can follow and have one custom made for you for stocks, forex, and futures. And if you like this particular video, please click the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do that as well. And if you have a great comment for us, please leave it in the comment section below.